So it is five to four. I was that at quarter to five. Um not gonna lie, I'm still feeling pretty crap from my walk. Um achiness. Had a little bit of a headache. Uh yeah, it's lovely and sunny. And I'm feeling like this and I'm working inside. Lovely. So it's four o'clock, so I start in 45 minutes. And I've got sore legs. I honestly think from my walk, I've damaged my trainers. Possibly, I don't know. Actually, I think it's the socks. It could be the socks that are just a bit terrible. Oh, because I had the thick ones on earlier, and uh, well, I think it was okay. And I've got thin socks on now, and it's like not great, not well. If I can walk there, it's fine. Hey, even if I get there for half past, it's just still, I'll start then straight away. Hopefully I'm fine. It's strange not to have to walk along here and uh, wait for a bus. But I can just walk straight to work. So I'm going to go under the bridge, up to the other end, turn right to go to McDonald's. It's 4.22, uh, so it should be like 4.30ish. Want to get there, just, like get ready. Then uh, that'd be it. Start. Well, I'll start at quarter, but uh, it'll probably be quarter by the time I've sorted. Well, I'm walking home, and uh, I think I have to pretty much re enter my holidays that I want. Interesting. Walking along here now, you can't see me at all. This is the, the thing with walking, uh, with working at Salt Table. I can walk along here at night and uh, yeah, just vlog. It's kind of nice to blend in with the darkness and such, but uh, yeah, holidays I need to re enter them in. Because uh, <laughs> the second assistant manager who said to me that he was originally from Skipton who came to Salter Hevel so like I came from Halifax to Salter Hevel he said that he had to re-enter his holidays in so uh, that's what I'll have to do yeah, I'll just do that enter any time off, holidays what not into the system and He's going to write down some shifts for me because I still cannot see shifts online because it still shows Halifax for some reason. But the ESS is like the email bit for like, oh, if you oh, we need a somebody shift or somebody to do this shift, shows a salt of hell because the person that was on the email doesn't work at Halifax. It works at Salter Hebel. So, uh, yeah. Kind of nice to walk home. I don't feel as bad to vet. I'm not going out on my breaks because, well, by the time I'm on my break, it's dark. So, uh, yeah. There's still some people around, but it's actually not a lot of people around and plus as well I'm not going to walk along the canal at this time which is not uh, I'm going to put the phone away because I really need to concentrate now successfully done it's a bit cold um, yeah, I wonder what I'll be on next week then so you know how today I started at quarter to five 
Um, well, I'll start at half four tomorrow. We'll still finish at half ten. So it's just that, that 15 minute difference. Uh, now, this is the curious thing. It's a Friday that I'm working. And we shut at... So we still, we still will shut at, 10, at 11 o'clock. I'm kind of curious to know what Salt Hill is going to be like then. Because I've done closes through till midnight, through to the early hours of the morning in Halifax. So to finish at half ten on in Salter Hebel, I kind of curious to know what's going to happen. Are we going to be busy or are we going to be... I, well, I think what I can deduce is that we'll be more busier through the drive through pretty much than like inside because they inside at the moment it just went quiet and then as it does for that the last little bit it gets busy uh, but hey I tell you what I'm not complaining I'm enjoying it at the moment especially with being on a till there's been points where I'm like ah like ah, like not sure but like the more and more I'm doing it I'm getting used to it and let's not forget this is my second day there. It just feels like such a long time. But it's been in reality two days. Well, uh, I'm nearly in Westvale. Well, actually, I'm nearly at the Garden Centre, most of all, first. And uh, we chose this to death tones. We like such the right choice. Like, like when it's late, you want to listen to something like that. It's nice and calm. And it's weird because Deftones is a metal band. And, pardon me. They are a metal band, but come across such a calming band. Like, they kind of like the hard hitting beats, and then. Oh, is it Chino? That's his that's name, the guy, isn't it? He's got such, like, lovely tempo of sound and lovely. <sighs> so, what am I doing tomorrow? Uh, half four instead of quarter to five until half ten. Just wanted to double check. Okay, how long have I been? I've been. I can't undo my thing. Oh god, I can't see. 30 minutes. Just took half an hour to get home. Ah, <sighs> lovely. <coughs> <coughs> so I need to write my hours down. Uh, no, my house, my uh, holidays. I need to rebook and uh, put them in. And I said, I need to get them booked. I need them authorised. <coughs> hey! I was just thinking to myself, like, after my walk, I was thinking because of my socks would be damaging my trainers. And I think it is my trainers. I've not had them long, but I literally just did like 20 miles in them on Tuesday, and they're not great now actually, I can feel like bits of damage here and there, so I might need to get another pair of Solomon trainers, possibly, yeah. I think what it is is when I'm not when I'm starting off to start with, I'm just trying to find that groove uh, with my trainers, and then when I'm walking, I'm like in that zone bit, and it just adjusts. I think what I need to do though is because I did such a long way on Tuesday, is like kind of like go back to doing normal walking. Like we're doing routine and like kind of like mold them back into shape because like as you wear your trainers it's all mold to your feet but because I, did, I put my feet at such twisted angles like trying to do stuff on the walk it'll have done all sorts to my trainers so I need to kind of like go back into a, a routine of like doing easier walking and a lot less hilly walking. 
because I mean doing the hilly walking that would do normally but the ways I went I mean for Christ's sake I went up two of the peaks so I think is I can't do as much lately I just because of that walk I've just been fatigued and tired and like I could still do bits but just not as much so I can aim for an hour this morning yeah just aim for like an hour be alright So regarding my transfer, the only thing that's not showing is uh, shifts and holidays because my hour, the hour lounge for our work now shows Salta Hebel. Uh, what else? The ESS to like, know about if you want to do an extra shift or not uh, is showing as Salt table. <sighs> oh, do you know? I'm actually really curious to know what Salt table's gonna be like on a Friday. Like, because on a sat on a on a, on a Friday evening in Halifax, it's uh, you can kind of imagine. Uh. So yeah, I'm kind of curious to know. I mean, I'm also doing tomorrow. I'm starting at quarter to twelve. Um, <sighs> quarter to twelve until quarter past eight. So I might possibly get to go out on my break, maybe. <sighs> I've all done. I've, uh, I will not have as much energy as I normally would. Damn. This walk has just killed me. Practically. And I trained for it. I trained for the walk as well. And it just damn near killed me to be fair. I don't know how the other Chris's are going to feel about it but I don't know how they're feeling because I trained for and I feel fucking knackered and they didn't really train for it so they must feel worse they must do oh god I was thinking yeah taking it easy really so the last time I came down this path it's a while ago actually um, it was when it was raining so damn hard and thankfully it hasn't been so I remember when I walked along here it was just all caked in mud and at the bottom it was so bad and I fell over because of how bad it was and I was just like that's it I'm not coming here for a good month until it dries up because it was just so bad you couldn't even really walk on this bit without vlogging uh, there was I remember on the walk they were saying like oh I didn't think there'd be as many rocks and I thought they'd be just grass and so well it's a peak it there's gonna be rocks and the thing is with walking in here in the the woods it's good because it's like that like that uh, multi-terrain surface of walking so it's like all oh, right yeah it's not it's a little bit of uh, mud it's a little bit of loose gravel it's a bit of mud that looks like that pretty much and then a bit of rocks and then sometimes it's separate and then sometimes it's all different terrain the dogs have already ran to the end. <sighs> yeah, coming in here was uh, a good idea. 
think. I guess what I could do is that they'll be off, they'll be off the lead more, but I could actually go left, so I don't go into Copley, but go left, back up the hill, back that way, so then they're actually staying on the, we're staying in the, uh, the woods. You know, somehow I will get my energy back, like I used to, because I could walk quicker than this, without being really out of breath. Should be okay. But the thing is, I'm actually. The thing is, actually, my leg muscles don't hurt as much. That's the other thing. My leg muscles at the back just proper killed for the last for the last few days. I mean, it was only Tuesday when I did it, so so it's Friday. They're not as bad. They still ache a little bit, but they don't hurt as much. I think thankfully with being on a till and standing still and keeping it straight has actually kept it so it can heal. But uh, yeah, today I don't really know what I'm going to be doing to fair. I mean, I'm, so, I'm only starting 15 minutes earlier. That's all I'm doing. Because I've had high volumes of wind, look at that. It's just collapsed. Bloody hell. I mean, we're, we're, we're in Horton and Ribblesdale, there's loads of trees that just collapsed. Bloody hell. Damn. That's proper damaged. Well, it's proper come down. I need to kind of like do a Houdini trick to get through all this. Uh, I need to put my phone away. Tries to lift it. You really think I can lift that? Otherwise, hey! And yeah. Nope. Okay, this is a while since I've been here. Okay, oh my god. So either down steep stairs. Or down steep stairs. I think we can go. We go this way. Oh, I just swing. Oh, this is what it was then. Yeah, we'll go this way. Okay, I'm we'll gonna go this way. Oh my God, it's raining that much. It's like its own little pond down there. This is what I was like, stopping the dogs from going in. It was about to go in it. Look at it. I don't even want them going in it. So, Salter Head was shut for a few hours yesterday. It was fine when I got back to work. Uh, got Well, got back to work, I should say. It was fine when I got to work. Because, um, basically, like, everything was resolved and it went back to normal. Where should I go? No, go this way. Um, everything I like, got back to normal. So when I got in, it was like nothing had changed. Uh, but like, uh, one of my colleagues <laughs> had put on Facebook, the Fifty Shades of Halifax group, that um, they had shut down basically. And oh well, no, actually, somebody from the public took a picture and then put it on the group. Then one of my colleagues said, um, oh well, basically, this has happened and this is why. And people were getting so mad, like so, so mad over comments. And it was just like stupid how utterly stupid some of these comments were. And uh, do you know, the thing is, right, I didn't comment on any of them. I just read them. So I just thought, do you know what, I'll just see what some people's comments are. And people were blaming the clothes on Brexit. I was like, you mad? Right. We need to, uh, I need to stop now. Thing is with the comments, it was showing the pictures of the people that were commenting. 
and because I've worked at Halifax for a year, I actually recognised some of the people that were commenting. Uh, like, I didn't know the names, but I just recognised the faces. And people's comments were just outrageous, like, oh, well, we're blaming this on Brexit. I was like, so because there's a system failure in the building, it's Brexit's fault, is it? No. Uh, so, I've seen. Uh, there's another one, which was... Uh, my kids couldn't have their nuggets and they're upset. I'm fucking fuming. I'm like, you do realise there's Halifax and there's other branches elsewhere. So they're this way. Yeah, for a change. Aside from what I've just said, I've never been along here before, so uh, first time for everything. I was going to come along here before, but it rained incredibly hard and it was going to be all really muddy so I didn't walk along here because it would be really muddy but because it's dried up it's been nice I can actually walk along it without thinking shit there's going to be loads of mud everywhere I don't think it lasts long so uh, I think I might have to put the leads on the dogs again I'm not sure I've never been, I've never been along here so I can't really say how far or how it goes. I'll just have to see in a, a minute. Yeah, it keeps on going. I'm curious to know where this goes now, actually. Yeah, I'll keep on going. Oh, that's a lovely dog. Yeah, this bit is a bit, uh, bit, bit bad, but uh, hey, I've seen worse. Hey, so this actually loops round then. Oh, okay. This is a nice little path. I've actually never been along here. Like, never. So this is a first time, really. Uh, yeah, but people's comments, I mean, I said Brexit, and people's nug they couldn't get the nuggets, and they were saying it's absolute garbage, and like, I was like, I've met these people at Halifax, and they were so down to earth, like, I've actually met them and talked to them in person and then I see the comments that they're making for Salt Hebel and it makes me think that they're a complete tool. Like, like nice to talk to in person but an absolute prick behind the keyboard. Which is a shame because I knew these people from work. And not, not exactly colleagues but like customers. And there was being an absolute tool. It's so nice around here. I'll tell you why, because there's, there's a lot of people putting the washing out. So I can smell the, uh, the uh, what do you call it? Washing powder. Oh, it's nice around here. If this seems familiar to me, and I was thinking, why does it seem familiar? It does, because I went on that, so there's a river there, and on the other side there's a path. There's a path. It's not really a path as such, but that's where I tried to go with my bike and ripped my shorts open. So this is actually familiar for me. Wow, I actually know where I am. All right, so I've literally just gone around Copley Village to the point where actually I can let the dogs off. Yeah, this is really nice actually. Ah, this is actually quite nice. I could actually just stay out, you know. Couldn't I? I was saying like I could be out for like an hour. But uh weather's like this, take advantage of it. Because uh with England you just don't know. So I've never been along before. Yes I have, I've been along here before, but it was a very long time ago. The bridge MBN2 slash 158. Oh, Copley Bridge, yeah. Oh my god, I have been along here before. Oh my. I'm walking along the correct side this time. Oh, this is such a long time. This is strange. <laughs> oh, right. Okay. Oh, yeah. No, I do remember this. Copley Cricket Ground there. I do remember this actually. Ah, 
I've been along here before, but damn, I think it was like a few years ago at least. Nice. Oh, because then they, I think this goes back to the canal. I can just go back along the canal that way. Very nice. Very nice. <sighs> I'd rather enjoy this now and then when I get to work, for the last few, for the last two shifts, <laughs> the only two shifts, I've not gone out on my break because it's been like eight o'clock and it's been dark. Asian what? Asian territory. Black Lives Matter, love is love, stay alive. Alright, okay. <laughs> Where's she gone? It's a while since I've been down here. Oh, don't disappear. This is nice. The river in West Wales is so higher, whereas here it's so lower, so you can actually stay in it. You're a good boy, you're actually going in it. Well, I thought you were anyway. There's the train. Nice. Oh my god, he's actually going in the river. Right, well, come on now dogs. At least they've had a cool off. Because with it being slightly warm and such. I tell you what, you can actually see where the the, the litter has gone onto the trees. Because it rained and this filled up a lot higher. Gosh. Oh my god, this is uneven. <laughs> I need to really keep an eye out where I'm going now because it's uh, sandy. And just like that, I'm on the canal. I can stay on the canal now. Uh, all the way to Salt Hebel. God, this is such a nice walk. You know, I literally said to myself, <coughs> I'm going to rest for the next few days to like, get my energy level back up. I'm not going to lie, I think I've got it today. Because... After like a mile, I was like, like really out of breath. But I tell you what, like it's surprising now because I don't even think that I don't feel as tired. I still feel a little tired, but I don't feel properly tired. I can feel like I can keep going, and so it's like so. I've done 2.8 miles in an hour. It's only 0.3 miles off. It's not terrible. So I'm gonna actually walk. I think it's like two miles. Oh, is it, is it, it's like one and a half to two miles anyway to go back to Copley. Walk along that way. And then I might actually just go along the canal going to Elland, possibly. Depending. Because <laughs> I was saying to myself, like, after the, after the walk on Tuesday, there's no way I'm going to get a 10k in after it, because I'll just be recuperating all my energy back into my body. But, if I can do a 10k today, that's showing that I think my energy's come back, really. Whilst it's not 100%, I can still do something. So it's rained that much that the banks have burst. Look at that. That's literally like that much gap between me and the canal. Bloody hell, that's gone down. Not <laughs> other way around. It's gone high up, not down. It's very dirty as well. So the canal bank is actually nearly submerged into the canal. Well, the canal's nearly submerged in the canal bank, I should say. Such a lovely day. I actually can't take it in. It's such a lovely day. 
I want to get back home I can actually just sit down and chill and do a bit of editing because I've actually do you know what I've actually need to edit my Bradford footage and my other stuff it's such a lovely day so I'm making my way into Elland and then I'll make my way home I'm actually up to 5.1 miles at the moment uh, so I've got a mile well 1.1 miles left and then I've done 10 kilometers <sighs> goodness me